and I'm terribly proud of my blokes. And I never stopped. And what else can you ask for? This is a club that thinks grandly. It's a club that decides to put itself out there at times. At some stage, I know it's going to finish. I can't keep going at the same pace. I'm uh, indebted to and grateful to Mick for this, for this opportunity, because without, without his um, input and embracing um, this concept, it just wouldn't be possible. We read in the papers today, uh, Mick Malthouse endorsing Nathan Buckley, saying he's ready to go now, and uh, it'll just be the finishing touches for Nathan Buckley this year. Is there any extra news? Um, it's been a long build-up, and the attraction, for one reason or another, I guess because I, in the first case to go from Collingwood, Carlton, um, it's attracted a lot of media interest. This will be interesting. Garland swings around, kicks towards a vacant goal square. How will it bounce? Oh, oh wonderful. Under the ball brilliantly, running hard. He's such a skillful player. By Walker and slow down McCaffer, side bottom, hard against the line, kicks, and there he is, goes to get across the front of the pack. Go, little man. The Humboldt Penguin goes in and kicks a goal. Elliott still figures in the finish. He gives it to side bottom and side bottom kicks the goal. Oh, he handballed it to Pendlebury. And now Pendlebury off 50. Oh, there you go. It's Bucks over Mickey, the first of many big clashes, you'd reckon. Great game. We've had some really strong chats in this very room. If we don't get a spike out of, out of our players this week, I'll be surprised. We, we're, we're a proud group. We, um, we understand there's a lot of commentary and speculation that's out around there at the moment, and when you lose games of footy, that happens. Well, I haven't done a count, but I, I would be surprised that there's not close to 50% change in personnel.